So where do you see multi-cloud and DevOps orchestration going over the course of the next couple of years? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of it's going to move in, into the container world. I mean, we're talk talking about Kubernetes orchestration is where you see a lot of the, the public cloud or the cloud native functionality going. I think we'll start seeing some of the cloud native features and services we see in public clouds uh, potentially start to make their way into the private cloud sector as well, uh, maybe even in the VMware side at some point. And what are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, it's interesting being at uh, being at VMworld today. Uh, I've been at the show for a long time. It started out, you know, five six years ago. It was a very storage centric show because that was the problem people were trying to solve. Uh, the last couple of years, it's moved to hyper converge and converge systems as a way to stand up infrastructure more quickly. Uh, this year, we're really seeing orchestration, automation, those technologies take center stage because I think companies are realizing that moving quickly is the key to their differentiation. So I think hybrid cloud management has become more and more important as part of your VMware conversation because at the end of the day, companies are trying to deploy and manage applications. Everything else, the hypervisor, the servers, the storage is simply enablers of that. And the, the last mile to making application development and deployment move fast is where we are uh, with application abstraction and, and automation. So we're excited. We think this is where the puck's going. And over the next few years, it's just going to become even more and more important as, uh, as companies turn their focus on that. So where do you see the future of hybrid cloud infrastructure moving? Well, I think one thing you said, right, hybrid cloud. I think we get into a point where data centers, on-premise data centers, and the cloud are starting to bridge. Um, and we're starting to see more and more solutions that it will enable workloads, you know, it might be VMs, it might be containers, you know, Kubernetes, um, all sort of different applications in those infrastructures, being able to leverage resources on both sides. I think this is really where we are going uh, with bimodal IT as well. Um, I don't think, uh, as I always say, I don't think everything is going to be on the cloud, everything is going to be on-prem. There are use cases for everything, uh, but that's what I see. You know, hybrid cloud is exactly what I see as the next step for the industry. And, you know, over the course of the next year, where do you see things changing? On? Yeah, so, so that's a great question, Brian. And one of the, a couple of things that are, that are coming down the pike in the next year. One is a lot of companies are trying to focus and, and limit sort of that VM sprawl. Right. Sort of that, that sprawl across different servers. So that's where we kind of could fit in there. The other thing that keeps going, that you see every day in the news, you hear about companies being hacked, crypto jacking, right. ransomware attacks. Even last, even two weeks ago, the PGA Golf site was attacked. So we're hoping with our technology, we're able to eliminate a lot of those types of things coming down the road. 